So it's my great honor to introduce our uh, honorable guest, Miss uh, Margaret Xiao. Margaret is a 70 year old creator and two startup entrepreneur. So let's just turn our pod our floor to Margaret. Margaret. Hello, you. everyone. Um, so my name is Margaret, and I am a 17 years old Asian American um, living in Minnesota, and I have passions for economics, art, um, and entrepreneurship. And um, I'd like to first um, thank everyone for inviting me here and talk a little bit about my journey with entrepreneurship, um, specifically um, first of all, my first company that I started in middle school. So in 2016, I started a company that does freelancing, and this is called MCL Arts. Um, as you can see on the screen, um, a little bit of the work that I've done over the past few years. Um, kind of looking at the left side, I've done a lot of different projects. Um, for example, in the last couple of years, um, pretty recently, um, I did one that helped fundraise money for the Black Lives Matter movement. Um, and I did some designs for that with a local nonprofit organization. Also on the screen, you can see that I like to use a lot of different mediums. Um, I've had a lot of different art teachers over the past few years that have helped me a lot um, in finding my own voice and being able to express it in my art. And so I'm really grateful for all of that. Kind of a little bit more about my journey with art um, now, I still do sell some of my art. I just sold a few more pieces recently, but I also focus a lot on interacting with other student entrepreneurs and their local startups, doing a lot of pro bono business work for like logo design, um, website design and stuff like that um, for other young students that want to start their own companies. So also in the last couple of years, um, I started another company with some of my peers um, at the school that I go to. And this company is called BioBev, and we specialize in biodegradable cups. And we do a lot of connecting with local coffee shops in the Twin Cities area um, in order to kind of sell our product and improve it. Um, we like to focus a lot about um, really improving our product and making it something that is beneficial to the environment and something that helps in the long term. And as you can see on the screen, um, we've participated um, in a few competitions, um, the one on the screen being Junior Achievement, um, which is a pretty um, like fun competition um, open to even new entrepreneurs. So for anyone that has an idea um, that they want to get started and they want to get funding for or even mentorship, um, I would recommend, you know, participating in Junior Achievement and um, a ton of other entrepreneur competitions in the Twin Cities area. And lastly, I just want to give um, a brief overview of some of the things that I've achieved in the last few years, um, specifically in regards to my extracurricular interests. Um, so, for example, like with art, um, I've won the Scholastic Gold Key and the State Fair. Um, for economics, um, most recently, um, I participated in the Harvard um, Economics Tournament, as well as the Northwestern Economics Tournament. Um, and then as for entrepreneurship, um, like a couple years ago with um, the startup that I just showed you, um, when we were in our beginning stages, um, we won the Minnesota Cup Youth Division, as well as the Aspiring Entrepreneur Competition um, Second Place Award. Wow. What, what a big achievement, Margaret. And I'm most impressed by um, your artwork. And then um, if you go back to your slide, uh, we can see there is, um, there is a Unity logo there. And, um, and also by just by looking at this picture, we see Asians, we, we see Caucasians, also we see some image that represent, you know, um, our, um, African American communities here um, that also that hand represent that. How did you identify yourself? Normally that people, um, the most challenge that teenagers feel is like, who am I? And how do I relate it to the outside world? Did you ever struggle about that? And how, how, how did you come up with your own identity? Yeah, that's a great question. Um, I've definitely struggled um, a lot with my identity growing up. Um, just, you know, being a Chinese kid, right? I attended Chinese school, um, but I never really 
I feel like took the time when I was younger um, to study the language or um, assimilate myself with the culture. Um, it was only like a few years um, into like middle school, I think, when I first, um, I guess, immersed myself in the culture more fully. Um, I attended an immersion camp overseas, and that experience really prompted me to, um, I guess, have a bigger sense of identity, especially um, in connection with my Chinese background. Um, for example, like at that camp, I learned how to do um, Chinese ink painting, um, as well as like, you know, Chinese dance and um, learn more about how to speak Chinese and Chinese history. And I think that those were all really valuable things um, that have led to me getting a greater understanding of who I am as a person um, and, you know, where my family has come from and the struggles that my parents have been through. Um, and I think that, you know, that experience was not only like really life-changing for me, but it helped me understand, you know, kind of when you were talking about, I guess, like the diversity of people that I like to draw, um, kind of my position in my community, just because, you know, there are so many, you know, different identities um, in our society um, and in our world today that I feel like aren't really represented um, in art or like, you know, mainstream media that I really wanted to cover. And so I think that especially through art, um, it's been a really good tool and skill for me to join a lot of different new experiences and meet a lot of new people that has kind of opened my eyes to not only myself, but other people. No. I'm most impressed by the way that expressed that unity and one not necessary to be inferior or superior to the others and everybody's just a piece of this harmony circle. You know, I'm pretty impressed by uh, the way you kind of view yourself and, and you are proud of um, your heritage. That is really good. And then the following slide you show us, you know, it's you started uh, a startup company with your friends and I'm just kind of wondering, you know, what kind of challenges you have experienced when you have this, uh, this model, you, you know, people normally have a dream, but to make that dream come true, actually take that executive skills and especially to collaborate with some others. It seems like this is a company that you are, um, you are doing with, with your friends, with, with your classmates or, or colleagues, if you say, then how did you overcome those um, difficulties and, and make this happen? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so first I want to say that no matter what um, you do, you know, you'll always face challenges. And of course, you know, when my peers and I were starting this company, you know, we knew that we would face a lot of difficulty, um, especially, you know, when we were starting the company, we found that because we were all minors, right, under the age of 18, it was really hard for us to take care of a lot of things. Um, for example, like reaching out to different companies, you know, sometimes people wouldn't take us seriously, or just in regards to like legal matters, um, right, because none of us were officially adults, it was hard for us to sometimes get things done. But I think that overall, having a really like positive mindset, um, as well as being willing to put in the effort and reach out to new people, um, especially like asking questions is really helpful um, in not only like starting a company, but just doing things in general and accomplishing things. For example, you know, whenever we had issues with our company, we made sure to ask, you know, mentors and um, different teachers around us and when we found, you know, maybe the people around us aren't really familiar with the stuff that we're looking into, um, we looked online um, for online resources and reached out to um, other business professionals for help. And I think that um, this is really valuable, um, you know, and it really helped us overcome a lot of challenges, just being willing to, you know, contact people and reach out to new people. And I think overall, this has helped us, you know, make connections with a lot of people that have experience and have helped us grow our company, not only like making sales and um, learning how to like make advertisements or um, gain funding, but also just internally, you know, how to manage ourselves as a team and improve our communication. That's awesome. It's outstanding. 
it's uh, sometimes it's easy just to see when you have your medal on your chest and say, hey, you win this award. But what actually from, from ground zero to actually what happened, it, you must have went through a lot of obstacles. So to talk to like kids like you in our community, do you have some words of wisdom for them? Yeah, I think that um, like I'm proud of what I've accomplished so far, but I think that there's still a lot um, in my future that I really want to do. Um, I think that for students, you know, like me, whether you know, you know, what you want to study in the future or not, or what career you want to pursue or not, I think that, you know, something that I've really learned is to take every opportunity um, and to not be afraid to do what you like. Um, all of these things that I've done um, have happened when I've pursued, you know, the path that I want for myself um, and not really following others' expectations um, or trying to, you know, follow someone else's um, idea for what, you know, is the most beneficial path for me, but especially, you know, just having like faith in myself um, and finding support within my family, you know, to be able to do the things I like and um, find encouragement within myself um, to try new challenges and take those risks. Okay, great. That faith in yourself and, um, and do something you like and never hesitate to ask for help. Um, those are great advices. Thank you so much for your time with us, Margaret, and wish you the best for your entrepreneurship uh, trip, trip to another, the next uh, success of your life. Thank you. Yes, thank you for having me.